y'all it's the girl cookie underscore 90 and i'm coming with y'all with another video to tell y'all about um my five day experience with soy opso whatever the word was um today's my off day so on my off days i like to let my face breathe and don't put no makeup on because i wear makeup pretty much throughout the week and weekend and so i just don't feel like doing it today but this is a vlog so you get you get you see what you get whatever okay so i took the soy opso whatever flavions whatever it is i'm just gonna say soy so i took the soy for about um i took it for five days i didn't double up the fifth day but i did take it for five days my experience with that was i had headaches um i had um headaches that's all i can say about it so it's pretty much what the clomid um side effects gives you um after i got off of it i had a really bad migraine and after that i had really i started you know having pain in my abdomen like on my left side and on my right side from i guess because my I don't know, I guess because of my, for ovulation or whatever, time to get ready for ovulation. And I am still taking the evening promos, 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 whatever, evening. I'm just going to say evening because I don't have the bottles with me right now. But, um, I am on day... I'm on day eight with that. So, um, once I stopped my cycle, I had a seven day cycle and I thought I was going to never get off of it. Um, I had a seven day cycle and after I, once I got off of my cycle, I just, I just started taking, started testing my ovulation. Now I have been testing my ovulation so far. I've been getting, um, negative of course. Um, I only took it for now. One, two, three, four. Four days now. I've been testing my ovulation. Um, and I'll be showing you that right now. You can see. Um, this is day 9. This is day um, 11. I actually skipped day 10. This is 2 or 11. This is day 12. I took 2 for day 12. And this is day 13. So, it looks like it is kind of getting darker, but, like, far as in the lines are both meeting up to each other, so, but, yeah, these are my ovulation tips so far. So, hubby and I have been baby dancing, um, we baby danced last Wednesday, and once I got off my cycle, we actually baby danced on, um, Monday when I thought I was off my cycle, it was a Sunday or something like that. One of the days we baby danced and because I thought I was off my cycle, but I ended up not being off my cycle. I still was bleeding far as in spotting. And then we baby danced Wednesday. And then we skip, skip, skipped uh, three days. Baby danced on Sunday. And we're going to baby dance, which is today, Monday. Um, Monday the, I don't know what date today is, but anyways, um, that's what's been going on so far. I'm just waiting on my big fat positive, um, ovulation test, but in the meantime, we have been baby dancing. Um, I would probably stop testing my ovulation either by the end of this week or by the end of next Wednesday, I'll stop testing my ovulation. And then, because I was supposed to start my cycle on December 2nd. Now, on my ovule, I'm sorry, I'm, <laughs> on my ovule, um, ovule, on my ovule, ovulation app, um, it said that I had a, um, I had ovulated last I mean, yesterday, and we we did baby dance, but it was a quickie because I had to go to work. And so, 
um, I was talking to one of my TTC sisters from Cali. Hey, um, I was talking to her about does any any of, or does any of y'all experience leakage? Like my husband have noticed when he you know comes inside of me that he have seen leakage come out like once he. I know it's a little bit TMI, but hey, whatever. When he opens it up, you know, um, he said that, like he sees some of it trying to ooze out. So once when we do it, sometimes I be missionary style, sometimes I be doggy style. So I don't know. Um, any of y'all have some tricks out there that y'all do so to hold the sperm inside? But even though she told me, and which I have read that the sperm shoots up in you whatever that's coming out is the sperm that does not need to be in there like maybe like dead sperm or something like that so i don't know if any of you guys have a like a way that y'all find out that um if sperm comes out of y'all once um you know he comes inside of you or that what's y'all tricks to hold the sperm in Comment below and let your girl know. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's your girl, Cookie underscore 90. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.